Underway as Carolina wins the opening tip. And Dave, this game in large measure is going to come down to whether Boston College can rebound with North Carolina. A pair of nice wins this season over top 25 opponents. They beat Clemson in January. They upset number six Virginia as well, and that one switched in. Well, R.J. Davis went underneath that screen, and Ashton Langford only shoots 30% from three. That's his 32nd three of the year. Earl Grant, the head coach for Boston College, he's 3-1 in this tournament. Well, they had a great run last year. Now McLaughlin. His little slice cut screen for the screener in order to get Armando Baycott down to the low post and the quick double. On the spin, getting inside the lane, and that'll roll in for him. Did you ever ask him why he would want to leave a job as difficult and challenging as broadcasting <laughs> going to something as easy as coaching? I never did. Hey, nothing easy about that move. Caleb Love, Leaky Black, and I think they should continue to do that because that's going to lead them to free throw opportunities and certainly easier basketball. Native of Worcester, Massachusetts, in year number five. He's been around a long time. Did you pronounce that correctly? I thought it was Worcester. That is correct, actually. <laughs> Good pass. Inside for Baycott. To the basket, he had to be picked up by a tag man. And as soon as he set the screen, rolls out, and Makai Ashton Langford just jumped. One foot frame against Armando Baycott. You could already see them getting hurt on the boards, and having him back in is a huge deal right now. Ashton Langford again. He's the hot hand right out of the gate. Post, by the way, at 15.6 rebounds again. It's a huge get back. You know, Holly's right about Quentin Post, but I think having his ability to stretch the floor is going to be really key because he can pull Armando Baycott away from the basket. How much respect that Hubert Davis has for Zachary. Put the best defender on him. Love on the drive. What a quick step that was. Shot clock a factor down to two. Long one on the way off the back of the iron by Davis. He'll get a second chance, though. Black keeping it alive. Here's Love. Yes. Caleb Love gets a wide open step in three as a result of Leaky Black's offensive rebound. Austin Langford, nice feed there, and a better block there by Nance. But Nance was alert to it on the weak side, came over, and just erased it by DeMar Langford. He's loved, and they presented these pink whistles at their officials' dinner when they got here to Greensboro. He said, it means the world to me that everybody's got my back. Isn't that wonderful? Dunn will lift one and swish it in from three-point land. Boston College scoreless in the last five minutes. Battle for a loose ball. Scooped up by Nance. He has Johnson with him, and he will finish it. Not a, a team that forces a lot of turnovers. They look very comfortable. A 13-0 run for the Heels. Nice drive on the reverse there by J.D. Zachary. 23-12 North Carolina. BC really needs to stick with R.J. Davis and Caleb Love and then help off a leaky black. Yes. But I don't speak Bayheim, so I, <laughs> I didn't have a didn't have a translator. I went to school there, and I don't. Davis will drop in. Ashton Lankford got BC off quick. Post trying to back down. Bang in with Baker, swooping in a lane. Nice shot. And Clinton Post. The most improved player in the ACC. I, I thought that Hunter Tyson of Clemson might get that. They're shooting 65% in this first half. Well, couldn't find the angle. Nickel into the game, gets the rebound in the second try. Davis banks it in. And another offensive rebound basket. And the bank is open here in Greensboro. I guess it is. Forcing Lank, uh, Ashton Langford into help, and that's a tough two he had to make. Well, he has 11. Styles will. Great Michigan State coach Judd Heathcote used to say when, when Mark Few would, in a scouting report, lay off of a guy that couldn't shoot. Ashton Langford with the thefts. Fake ups down. That it is. Slow to get back. And another basket here for BC. Dallin, thank you. 3.57 to go before we see at halftime. In for Quentin Post. And we'll see if he can get a little damage done as he rolls and drops in two. Rather than just stand and let Leaky Black try to find you, R.J. Davis got within his line of vision. Just a good job to relocate himself. And it's in the back down on post. That's a sweet shot. Got a good little mid-range game. But it's his opportunity now to take over with Armando Baycott out.
post. Straight on. Nice touch. Now that you've run it down like that, I feel terrible even trying. <laughs> what was I thinking? Just absolutely nuts, Holly. Well, I want to know if Jay actually tried one. North Carolina, the seven seed. BC, the 10 seed. And getting off quickly here, Caleb Love. Love with the deflection, very active defensively. All the way to the baseline, throws it away, picked up by Zachary. Going up against Davis, and that's a nice move for two. 48-31, Carolina. Nance with a touch. Into that paint with a fall away. And again, early on, he was hitting them. Black slicing in. Long one coming, and that'll see their way into the quarterfinals here in Greensboro. Oh, big block there by Nancy. He got up high. Boy, that's his second block. Boy, his timing is really good. North Carolina guards have combined for 29. Davis, yeah. And trying to take away any penetration, muddy things up in the lane, and protect the paint. Kelly left alone for a triple and nothing but net. Sailed right over the iron. Madsen looking for the paint. Tough move and a foul too. Anywhere in America. As Davis will back it out. Now the drive. He wanted the shot all the way. He was going to take it. He is such a good player. One-hander up and in by Kelly. As mentioned, Virginia Tech and the number six seed NC State to have at it in the nightcap. So some of the teams that have a great chance to pull early round upsets and maybe advance are, you know, Drake could be one. Madsen, that's a quick to Oral Roberts. They may be better this year than they were a couple years ago when they beat Ohio State in the tournament. Davis shot clock it down to one and he dropped it in. Pass getting down. Another block. Yeah, another one. Yeah, he's had a two. Working it around the perimeter. Love pulls up and drains another one. Their guards have been tremendous. He has 20 underneath. Hail Love with the switch. Love with a quick step. Slicing. Pretty move. Don't thank you. Last four in, says Joe Lenardi. That includes Rutgers. And first four out, North Carolina. Number two seed, Virginia, awaits the winner of this one. Love has been on fire tonight. Easy cleanup there by Dunn, the sophomore. You know, the corners against that 1-3-1 one, one are going to be open if Carolina pushes it down there. Strong drive there by Madsen. Kevin Smith and Jarkel Joyner, you're not going to find better shot makers in college basketball than those two. And you had Casey Marcel in there. But Turquavis Smith has not played, has not shot the ball well over his last five games. Against the Eagles. Langford wants the paint. Now falls away and hits it. Reserves will get a chance to play some. Love and Davis have combined for 40 of Carolina's 70 points. Post getting in for two. The, uh, the Netherlands, number one in the world in flower exports. Which would've, I'm sure you did not know. Yeah, well, I would have bet an answer to stuff. Inside, five minutes to go in Greensboro. Here's Post off the fake. Ashton Lankford swishes in a three-pointer. Into a 2-3 now. Wings coming up a little bit. Back for Nance. Dribble on the drive. Made a tough shot. Youngster out of Wisconsin for two. Well, even in a zone, you have to know your personnel. And that was a great drive by Seth Trimble, but it was made by that. You know, the bracket was the only one. It was the one far, furthest to the right. Everything started the quarterfinals. There were only eight teams in the league back then. Dunn will bury a triple. And he's got a bright future. Dunn gets it free. Trimble with a nice bounce. Feed for the slam by Styles. So the cutting Dontre Styles out of the right corner. So the bench contributing as well on the blow by Ashton Langford. Nichols going to be open and left it short from three point land. McCoy back up and two. Before last season from the University of Virginia. Madsen, quick move. Uh, right now for North Carolina as they finish out this game, the job's going to be 
rehab for tonight for Armando Baycott to work on that ankle. Eagles going to jump inside. Can't get it to roll in. Now North Carolina impressive in this one. Their backcourt was outstanding as Zachary takes a hit, drops it in as well. Landry will line up a long one. That won't drop. It's going to be stuffed in anyway by McCoy.